Well, good morning. Today is Monday, March 20th. It's time for our weekly meeting highlights. Uh, this week it is how to maintain a weight loss. Uh, this is a series for the month of March on your weight loss questions answered. Um, usually, if you're new to my channel, this is when I share how I've done the previous week as far as my weight. Um, I have given up the scale for Lent. I am focusing on eating healthy, uh, staying within my Weight Watcher points and uh, just not weighing myself. Uh, if this would have been the fourth week into my plan. My This would be the fourth week that I haven't, well, wait a minute. I weighed myself on the 20th of fe February and I weighed 256.6. Um, I don't know what I weigh now because like I said, I don't weigh myself. When I went to the doctors, I um, didn't look at the scale. I had my yearly physical. I didn't look at the scale. I, I've gone to a new doctor, so I think she's afraid to say anything about my weight right off the bat. I have to go back in June for a follow-up um, to get some blood work and stuff done. Uh, I switched doctors, and so the other doctor had already done it, and so for my insurance to cover it and all that stuff, they're, they're just going to wait until um, in June. So I'll have my results in June. And uh, I just kind of judge how I've done the previous week, whether or not I think I would have had a loss. Uh, my goal is for this seven weeks, I have three more weeks to go, uh, for the seven weeks is to lose a pound a week. Um, I'm 72 years old, so I feel that a pound a week is a reasonable goal. Uh, I do think that I've um, done really well as far as losing a pound a week, with this previous week being the exception. I truly believe that if I would have weighed myself today, I probably would have had a gain. I, um, I ate out too many times last week. I think I ate out three times, and then I left, had leftovers, so I ate it the next day. I made some poor food choices. Um, I did go over my points. So um, it's one week, it's in my past. Um, I'm gonna focus on this week, making up for my mistakes from last week, and uh, just move on from there. Uh, like I said, I truly believe that if I was to weigh myself, even with a gain today, I still would have lost at least three pounds. I really do believe I've lost at least three pounds. So <clears throat> we'll just go from there and, and continue on our merry way, I guess. Um, I'm um, debating on whether or not to stay with Weight Watchers. My subscription is paid up until I think it's May 7th or May 9th, something like that. So I've, I've already paid in advance for the three months. I, I'm going to reassess at that point. Um, at that time, I think what I might do is go back over some old Weight Watcher meetings because I've been with Weight Watchers since December 31st, 2016. Um, I might pull up some oldies but goodies and still do a, a highlight meeting, even though it won't be a Weight Watcher meeting, technically. It would be a, technically a Weight Watcher meeting because it would be from material I've covered in the past. But I'll, I'll pick something that I think kind of pertains to what's going on. Um, what do you think of that? What, what are your thoughts on that? Um, I'm just like weighing my options at this point. Uh, they have told the lifetime members that they don't have to get weighed. They paid them through till next March, which tells me that they're not concerned that they're going to gain any weight because they're still paying, you know, not, not making them pay. And, uh, and I think they're going to alleviate, uh, eliminate the program. <clears throat> and so <clears throat> once they eliminate the program, um, that was my whole goal, really. I mean, my goal is to lose my weight, obviously. But my goal is to go to Weight Watchers for free. And I've put enough money into it, and I don't know. Do I want to chase bad money after good money after bad? Because I don't think I don't think it'll work for me. So, once again, if you watched me yesterday, uh, when the seasons change, my voice is really froggy in the morning. I have no idea why. But I can always pinpoint it on season changes. So, anyway, enough about me. It's not all about you, Sandy. Let's get let's get a moving on with this. The same habits that help you lose your weight also help you keep it off. And in the Weight Watchers app, you'll have a slightly higher points budget. Uh, it only stands to reason that once you've lost your weight, they're not going to, you know, like, they don't want you to keep losing weight once you've reached your goal. They want you to stay within your goal. They want you to realize that you can eat healthy. You can still eat a few more of your, your favorite foods, have a few more points, and still keep your weight off. Um... I, this is another reason I think my habits, uh, I've either after seven, four years, six years, 
if after six years, if I haven't learned the program by now, I should be a graduate student at this point after six years. So I know the plan and I know that the, the way it works is for me just to be honest and track and I know how to do it. I keep all my food journals. Uh, I can, I know I have a little book that tells me the Weight Watcher points on things. I could print it off from my app before I cancel. Uh, there's so many things I can do. Uh, there's so many apps I can try. Uh, it's just something that I'm really going to be reflecting on in the next couple months on whether or not I want to continue on with this journey. I, cause you know, like I, I'm, I'm, I'm just kind of fed up with it myself, but anyway, but if you're nearing, <clears throat> nearing your goal and almost ready to switch to maintenance mode, oh, congratulations. Well, I've got a long way from that, but if you still have ways to go, make well-timed intentional pit stops along your journey so you can actually help yourself in the long run. Here's how to map out a plan. And they tell you to try this. Number one, when could pressing pause on weight loss be helpful? Maybe during a vacation, holiday weekend, or stressful time at work. Uh, I do pretty well on vacations. Um, I have irritable bowel syndrome, so uh, I have to really be really careful about what I eat when I'm on vacation because you know, like you're sightseeing and that, and bathrooms sometimes are not really available, readily available. And uh, Unfortunately, with this irritable bowel, when I got to go, I got to go. So uh, I haven't got time to be looking for a bathroom. The joke in my family is if we go anywhere and you want to know where the bathroom is, ask Sandy because Sandy will always know where the bathroom is because when you have this problem, it's just obvious that you know where it's at. Now, with Weight Watchers and following the plan, I've noticed that it's not as bad, but it's kind of hard when you're walking around on vacation past the ice cream stands, you know, past the donut shops, you smell the cookies in the bakery, and you think to yourself, I'm on vacation. And then you start, I at least, start eating the stuff that's going to trigger it. And and I just think I'm on vacation. Uh, I can go on vacation and lose weight. I just can. But, um, but I don't deprive myself either when I go on vacation. When we go to our cottage, there's a, it's an ice cream place that we like. It's called Scoops. <laughs> And it's our favorite place. I go there at least once. At least once. Sometimes I'll be I'll be honest, I go twice, but I don't go any more than twice. But I kind of plan for that during the day and choose some smaller point meals just to treat myself. And then you know what? I'm telling you who I am. I, there's other people that are really good about just saying, well, you know, I'm going to go to Scoops and I'm just going to get a cone or a baby cone. That's not me. I'm going to go and get a banana split. Now, I'm defeating the purpose of the whole weight loss thing at that point. I understand. But I wanted a banana split. I'm going to have a banana split. I'm not going to deprive myself of something just because I think that I'm going to gain some weight. Uh, you know, if I had a banana split every single day, oh, yeah, I'm going to gain a lot of weight. But if I'm on vacation and I have a banana split once during the week, I don't think it's going to do that much damage. Maybe gain a pound, maybe two, but... That's easily taken off once you get home and get really strict with your diet. So, and then, you know, like at work, sometimes like when I was working, we had a bagel guy that came in once a week and he'd bring in Einstein bagels, which is, I don't know if it's a nationwide thing, but it's a pretty big chain around here. And they have the best, best, best um, uh, waffles, I was going to say. Excuse me. Um, bagels. I, I can't think of the word for a minute. I, you get old, things kind of lose your, kind of escape for a while. They rattle around and you got to really think about it for a while. But it always comes back. Maybe not right away, but, you know, maybe five hours from now it'll say, oh, yeah, that was bagels you were trying to think of. It'll come back. But uh, anyway, he would bring the, the best bagels. And that's where I gained most of my weight when I was working because I would think, well, if he would bring these giant, like giant, they're probably the size of uh, crumble cookies, if, if anybody knows what those are, or a cookie at BJ's, like those big mass of cookies. And so I would always have a bagel. You can't have a bagel without smearing it with cream cheese. And so I would always smear it with cream cheese. And then I would have um, a cookie. And then I'd get a big 16 ounce bottle of po uh, Coke. And so... Um, you can't do that as much as I did and not gain weight. And that's really why I did. But I could have had the cookie and then cut it in half or quartered it even and then wrapped it up and had it over four days. But that's not me. So, um, but I didn't need it is my point. Number two is how long will you be in maintenance mode? Decide on a date, time frame, or other marker to refocus on your weight loss. 
Um, I decided with this, not so much that I'm trying to maintain, but that I'm trying to get my mindset back that if I just eat healthy, I'll lose weight. So that's why I decided not to weigh myself for the seven weeks um, that I'm going that I'm doing this for Lent. Um, which brings me back, I don't know if I ever mentioned about the doctor's office. I didn't look at the scale. I don't know if I told you that. I didn't look at the scale. I do have a my chart thing, and when I open it, I cover up my my face so I don't see because you know right there it tells you how much you weigh. I did. I don't even look at that. So um, I, I don't want to know. I just don't want to know. I, and I because I want to learn how to eat healthy now, especially with what the direction Weight Watchers is going. It's come at the perfect time for me. I have seven weeks. They say seven weeks. I think they say three weeks to develop a habit. In my case, it's going to take the whole seven, maybe even eight. But I really, in my heart of hearts, know that when I get on the scale, I'm going to lose at least seven pounds. If I don't lose seven pounds, I'll be disappointed, but I won't be discouraged because I know, I know I'll, I'll have a loss. And I know in that seven weeks, I'm going to learn how to eat healthy. And that's my way of... Uh, maintaining what once again I gotta go back and think what it said um that I've decided on a date a time frame or other marker to refocus on my weight loss I've decided that I'm going to give myself seven weeks not weigh myself on the scale learn how to eat healthy and then after the seven weeks re reassess and see what did I do right what did I do wrong um should I go to just weighing myself once a month is that going to work for me rather than you know like wait seven weeks because that's that is an extremely long time but I always do well during Lent I wish I could do this well all year round and I know it's just a mindset your mind is the most powerful tool that you have in your weight loss journey uh if you can convince yourself you can accomplish anything there is not anything in this world that you can't accomplish if you're just not determined enough to follow through because your mind tells you yes I can do it like the little engine that can I, I could. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. I know I can. I know I can. I know I can. And that's who I want to be. I want to be the little engine that climbs up that engine, that hill and does it because I know I can do it. Number three, what two or three things can help you keep the scale steady? Tracking your food, weighing yourself at the same time, attending workshops. Well, we know where that's going. Uh, maintaining my activity routine and some other things that you can do. I track in a book. I have a journal that I keep uh, that I track my food every day. Uh, I show my food on my daily vlog. I show you my tracker at the end of the day. Um, I keep it in my, and like I said, the app and the book. Um, I When I do weigh myself, I weigh myself on Monday mornings at 1030 in the morning. Well, now with the spring forward, I'm going to have to get up a little earlier, which is not going to be a problem for me. Uh, I'll weigh myself at 9:30 on, on Monday mornings, and I weigh the same. I wear I weigh myself in my pajamas, so um, I weigh the same uh, in the same scale in the same spot. All of the good, you know, like all the, the the little lucky charms all around and stuff like that. That's what I do. Uh, I haven't attended a workshop since 2020 March. I'm trying to think of the last one we went to. Because they closed everything down. I know they closed the city down. Uh, I think it was on the 13th or the 12th. Because it was right after my daughter's birthday. So the Saturday previous to that was my last meeting that I ever attended in person. Um, I did try the Zooms during the uh, pandemic. It, it was just not It was just not for me. It was too hard to sign on. It was too hard to get a word in edgewise. Uh, it was just, it wasn't, it wasn't for me. So then that's why I switched to just the digital. And... Uh, through the pandemic and part of 2021, I did really well. I lost like 30 pounds. But then once everything was lifted and I felt a little more secure and going to the grocery store and all of that stuff, I started putting my weight on. And so I steadily gained back almost 50 pounds. So um, I'm back trying to lose this, the weight that I've already lost. And let me tell you, it's harder the second time around. It really is. Now, I've been on Weight Watchers my whole life. I've been up and down and up and down. And... Um, I, I never lost a significant amount of weight on Weight Watchers. Um, so I think that the most this was the most significant. I had lost like 96 pounds. And um, I thought that, you know, I thought, you know, like, I, I, I have this in the bag. I know exactly what I'm doing. I don't have to worry. And <clears throat> I slowly gained all my weight. Not all my weight, but I gained almost 50 pounds back. I think I gained like 48 pounds back. So... Um, no, I, I don't want to do that anymore. I just don't. And so, um, and then I think that Weight Watchers is going in the direction that they're they're not going to have workshops. Um, they're far getting farther and farther away. Uh, so many people, leaders have lost their jobs. And it's just, it just stinks all the way around. Enough of the rant. 
Uh, number four, write out your plan. Starting on such and such a date, I'll update my WW app food settings to maintain weight and continue to, and then pick a date. On which date I'll switch my focus and app settings back to lose weight. Um, I don't go through all that trouble, but I mean, you can do it. I, I just, like I said, I've decided on February 20th that I was going to weigh myself on February 20th. Uh, lead started on February 22nd, but my weigh-in day is a Monday, so that's why I picked that day. And uh, I'm going to weigh myself on Easter Sunday, and then I'll weigh myself again on Monday, which is my actual weigh date, because um, I'm having ham on, on Easter, and so obviously ham is kind of sodium-laden, you know, like a, very salty. And so I want to see how I really did truly weigh my, do myself. Um, I stay on this plan seven days a week. Um, some people say that Sundays aren't considered Lent. Uh, I consider Sundays still part of Lent. So I follow my plan seven days a week. And I've been following it now for, what, four weeks, 28 days? 28 days I've been doing it. So, um, and, and I think it's working for me. Uh, when I went out to eat, I could have made smarter food choices. I understand that. But when I go out to eat, I'm going to get what I like. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to eat at all like I used to. I'll bring half of it home. But then that's like I'm eating out twice because I'll have it the next day. But I, I still think in, I think it's better to eat it over two days than to eat it all in one day. I just I know how my body works. It can kind of manage the calories a little bit better over two days. And there's a healthy menu option. I understand that. I don't order from it. If I go to my favorite restaurant, I'm going to order my favorite thing to get at that restaurant. I'm, now, what I do is I make allowances before I go out to eat. I don't like think, well, I'm going to go out to eat, so I might as well have what I want for breakfast and eat what I want for lunch because at dinner, I'm going to eat what I want anyhow. I eat very light just to kind of make up for it. Let's dive a little deeper. How to set your WW app to maintenance mode. Tap the menu three times in the upper left-hand corner, then settings. Well, maybe I could try that. We'll see if that works. Maybe I can show you if I can get it to work. We'll see. We'll see what we will see. How's that sound? Weight Watchers. It's because they make it sound so easy. And it's loading. Okay. Tap the menu. Three lines. Okay. Not now. Which is right there. So we're going to tap the menu there. Okay, then we'll get this. I don't know if you can see that, it's kind of hard to see. And it'll say, tap food settings. Okay, food. That didn't work. Then current focus, let me try this again. Sorry. Unless my app is not up to date. Oh, then I didn't go on settings. You got to go on the settings button. Sorry about that. Now I find it. Okay, here it is. Food settings. I don't know if you can see that. Food settings. Okay, we'll go on food settings. And then, then you want to put current focus, which is up here in the corner. Right here, current focus. And then there's two lines. Lose weight or maintain weight. I'm just kind of curious how many points I'll get. If I, oh, I get 32 points if I want to maintain, but I don't want to maintain. I want to, I want to lose weight. So anyway, now that we know how to do that, hopefully it helped you because I think I kind of confused you a little bit. But anyway, <clears throat> then it'll automatically adjust. So I actually got more points. I don't want to maintain. I want to lose. So um, life doesn't always play nicely with our weight loss goals. Vacations, holidays, work stress, or even just a bad bout of the blahs can make your journey feel extra tough. We've got plenty of strategies for navigating rough roads and taking your foot off the gas is one of them. <clears throat> I have found <clears throat> that I, uh, I still like identify why I'm eating. I'm just talking about in the past, this past year. Um, just before I really got serious in February, uh, in January when we started, my goal was to lose a pound a week. And I did pretty well through January. And then February came and, but I thought in January what I would do is if I wanted something to eat, I would say to myself, why do you want that? Are you really, really hungry or are you just feeling blah? And a lot of times I just was feeling blah, but I recognized that, admitted it to myself. I still ate <clears throat> something that I probably shouldn't have ate, but at least I identified the reason I was eating it. 
So I think that it kind of held me back from going, like if I wanted some Cheetos, I thought, well, I really want some Cheetos. I'm not feeling good. So-and-so hurt my feelings. So I'm going to just have some Cheetos and I'm going to feel so much better. I was thinking to myself, you know, you're only eating this because you're mad at so-and-so because they hurt your feelings. And then, yeah, you're right. That is why I'm eating it. But you know what? I'm still going to eat it. But the fact that I recognized that, I didn't eat the whole bag. <laughs> I, I, I measured it out, put it in a cup, you know, like in a bowl. And I just ate that little bit. I acknowledged why I was eating it, you know, and I was honest with myself. I still ate it. It didn't make me feel any better. If anything, it made me feel worse that I gave in to my temptations. But I, I'm now recognizing my food triggers and why I eat. And I think that's Weight Watchers has given me that. My, you know, through all of the six years, they've at least got me to recognize why I eat. We're not su suggesting that you shift your maintenance every time life, well, life lives. But sometimes you need a break. Weight loss is a part of your life, not your entire life. Take the pause, but make it easier to pick up when you've left off by having a plan, setting a restart date, and committing to a weight study and behaviors. Think of it as goal insurance. Um, sometimes I think you just do need a pause. I needed a pause away from the scale. It was defining my whole week, whether I was good or bad. You know, it was just, and now I'm just trying to eat healthy. And sometimes when you're eating healthy, you eat stuff that's not really healthy, but you might need it psychologically or emotionally or something, but uh, don't beat yourself up. You know, have it, but recognize why you're having it. And don't go to an extreme, like Billy Joel says. I do go to extremes. So I have to really, you know, bring it back in. Uh, we, get, we get why so many members ask about maintenance. It's exciting to think about reaching your goal and what comes next. But maintenance isn't just for the end of the road. Pressing pause when you need it can set you up for success on the remainder of the journey. Just remember there are still so many non-scale victories to celebrate during a pit stop, including having the courage to put weight loss on hold. Um, I, I, you know what? I kind of agree with them on this. Sometimes I don't agree with everything they say, but I do kind of agree with them. So here are three fast facts. Number one, we can temporarily shift from losing to maintaining weight at any point on our journey. Number two is this can help us stay connected to the journey when we need more flexibility for other priorities. And number three, practicing maintenance can also help us to prepare for us when we do reach our ultimate weight loss goal. Um, number three, I think, is the most important. Practicing maintenance can also help prepare us for when we do reach our goal. And I, I so agree with that. I really do. So anyway, this is the fourth week of your weight loss answers, your weight loss questions answered. And so we got one more week. So we'll see what they have to say next week. But uh, how are you? Do how are you guys doing? Uh, what are your thoughts on the new Weight Watchers decision to tell you that it's okay to take pills <laughs> to lose weight after they've been telling you my whole life that it's not pills? I've been I'm 72. I've been um, Weight Watchers off and on since the 70s, and they never once told me to take a pill. They always told me it was like behavior modification, learning how to say yes and no, and how to push yourself away from the table. And now all of a sudden they're telling you, take this magic pill. Now I know that science evolves and stuff like that. I take pills for my gout and I take pills for my blood pressure. Uh, I take pills for my thyroid, um, but those are prescribed by an actual doctor. So um, I'm not saying that, I don't know that much about the program, so I'm not saying that they're not using real doctors, but uh, I would prefer if I was to go this route, to find out from my doctor if it's advisable for me. But Weight Watchers is a business, I understand that, and they they wanna make money, I understand that too. But uh, I just, my myself, speaking just for myself, I don't like the direction it's going in. So I'm gonna take the next couple months to reflect on do I wanna stay with them and still pay them $15.30 a month to do something that I basically know I can do. And I think that the Healthy app is like $30 for the year, and I think there's like a $5 coupon, so that would be like a month and a half that I pay for Weight Watchers. So I'm really debating on what I'm going to do. But how did you guys do? Let me know. So if you're new to my channel, please subscribe, leave a comment, hit the like button, share if you think somebody might like to see it. Hope to see you on my daily vlog. I will be back next week with another meeting highlights. Hope to see you then. Talk to you soon.